What's up everyone? This is how my microphone sounds like with using processing from voice meter. Now this is what my microphone sounds like with processing outside of voice meter using VST plugins and that sort of thing. You'll notice that the vocals sound a whole lot more clear. They also sound a whole lot more natural, which is exactly what you're looking for. I've made a lot of content on voice meter on this channel, mainly because I've had a lot of success with it, but also it's a really interesting tool that so many channels have explained in proper use of the application. One thing I really did was solve that issue of misinformation on YouTube, which seems to be still somewhat of a problem today. Now there's an entirely different issue arising with this application, and that is how people are using it for their microphone. Voice meter natively is just a virtual mixer, meaning it can take audio sources and separate them how you want them separated. So you can send them to specific outputs or virtual outputs and use them how you would like to. It's great for streaming because you can take those virtual inputs directly and put them into OBS as their own sources, allowing you to separate things like browsers, music, and all that sort of stuff. So naturally voice meter is meant to be used as a virtual mixer. On top of that, they've added in features such as compression, noise gate, limiters, equalizers, all of this stuff that can be used to kind of assist you in making your vocals sound a little bit better. Unfortunately, voice meter is not great at doing this. I know that I've made content on how to use the EQ with voice meter and that sort of thing, but it's not something that I would suggest that you do. There are better options out there and they are free that you can use to make your microphone sound better. And you don't have to use, or you're not limited to a single dial with your compression and your noise gate. And in fact, you can gain control over every single function of the compression and noise gate with using real VST plugins outside of voice meter. What I'm doing for this video is taking my microphone and putting it directly in OBS. And I've applied filters to my microphone with the Reaper plugins, with some Nova plugins, as well as some other plugins that you might not be aware of. The reason I'm making this video is not to get you to stop using voice meter, but to help you better understand understand how voice meter should be used. Voice meter, like I said at the beginning of this video, is absolutely great at virtual mixing. It's, it's a perfect tool. So many professionals use voice meter to mix their audio on a virtual system. It's a, it's a great tool. However, they're not good at vocal or audio processing. The compression dial is very limited. Most compression filters you find come with an attack and release time. They come with a threshold. They come with all kinds of different parameters to help you fine tune that compression filter in order to make it sound good and fit your microphone, your environment, and your vocals better. With voice meter, you're limited to a single dial and you kind of have to do a lot of guesswork with turning the dial and then adjusting your vocal volume to get it sounding okay. When you can just gain control over all those parameters, learn those parameters and make your microphone sound better or your voice sound better. And it's the same scenario with the noise gate filter on voice meter. You're limited to a single dial, whereas most noise gate filters come with a threshold attack and release time, all kinds of different parameters to help you make that noise gate work better for you. Outside of those two things, the EQ on voice meter is also limited. You're stuck to using one type of EQ, which is a parametric EQ. There are different kinds of EQs. Most audio engineers have a variety of different EQs that they pick and choose from depending on the voice that they're dealing with and the microphone they're dealing with. They're not limited to one type of EQ, which is essentially what voice meter has done. This is a great tool. Again, if you want to start out with vocal editing, voice meter makes it very easy. It's a very basic tool for vocal editing. However, there are better tools if you want to make your microphone sound as good as it can. So with that being said, I have two suggestions for you. If you're looking to up your audio game with your microphone, 
The first one is check out Equalizer APO. I've done plenty of content on this channel about Equalizer APO. I'll put an info card on the screen here to my most recent or most best Equalizer APO video. It does need updated, I will admit. And then also the second suggestion is just setting up the filters you need within OBS directly. I again have made a video on this. This is probably my best video to date on how to get your vocals sounding as good as they can with your microphone. Uh, I walk through how to set up the microphone according to your voice and your environment. It's a great video. Definitely give it a watch and you can see it on this info card here. And if you're interested in finding out more applications that will help you improve your microphone audio, check out this video right here. Peace.